Okay, nice cars. Shame about the colour. Only joking. What we're going to do in this video is take a look at changing a particular colour element of the picture. In this case, it's the yellow of the car that's in between these two we're going to change the colour of. You can equally use it to boost the colour as well. It works particularly if you could, so that's a whole range of different subject matters you can use it on. Okay, to make a start, we're going to come across to the Layers panel. We're going to duplicate our background layer using Command J on a Mac. That's Control and J on a PC. Once we've done this, we're then going to go to the Enhance menu, dropping down to Adjust Colour. From the Fly Up menu here, we're going to choose Replace Colour. Clicking on this opens this dialog box and if we just take a look, what have we got? We have got selection here. Holding your cursor over it brings up this enables uh, localized color clusters to make a contiguous selection. Anything with big words has got to be good, so we're going to leave this ticked. But being serious, it does make a much better selection when this is checked. Dropping down, we've then got the eyedropper tools. We've got the standard one here, which is, there it is. You've then got the add to sample and also the subtract from sample. Coming down then we've got the fuzziness slider. This is a bit like feathering between the various areas of colour. We'll come back to this just a little bit later. We've then got a bit of a preview screen showing us the selection or the image and you can choose which one you want to work on. I actually find this much easier. Right, to make a start, let's move this to the side. That area there would be pretty good. Bringing the cursor out, you can see it's just the standard sample tool there. When I click down, watch what happens. All of the little boxes here change to yellow. That's the color I've just clicked on. You'll notice as well in the preview, it's changed this area here. We're going to come in, we're going to pick up the Add to Sample. And if we click down, we can bring this over the area like that. And you'll notice the way it's changing again. You can even work in this little sample area as well. If you just come down, you see that great little tiny area there. If you just move this across, in it goes. It's just picked it up. You've got the door pillar here, which is going to be that area of yellow. Once again, you can use the little sample area or the little preview screen there. Looks pretty good. Also, this part here, the black part there, that's missing. That's where the color again of the yellow changes. This time, we're going to work live on the image as such. We're just going to click down. You'll notice the way the color samples are changing and again the way this has come through. Just coming in to make sure you've got everything. Job done. It's the fuzziness slider you can now use just to fine tune things. If you bring it back this way, you can see you can see, see the image underneath a little bit like a negative type of you know, black and white. Bring it in and basically what you want to do is just use it so you just see the whites of the areas that you want to work on. That has now selected all the yellows in the picture, including these two little white blots here, which happen to be the parts of yellow that you can see through. Right, if we drop down, if you want to just boost the color of the yellow, if you come to the saturation, you can take this up. And you can see we're now working just purely on the yellow of the car there. Let's just reset that back to zero. If you come to the hue slider, this is where we can do a quick spray job. We can come in and we can change it to whatever color you want. You'll notice we've still got a little bit of yellow. I've still got my add to sample, so I can click down, just drag it across like that. That's now going to pop in. And if we come across and just fill that area in like that, that looks pretty good. Like the way that's working, perhaps just a little bit on the side there as well. And again, we can use the fuzziness, just that's better. You see the way that just dropped in around the, the letter in there? Just bringing that back and forth, like the look of that, job done. So now we can come through and we can select whatever color we want. You can even click on the little window itself, which is going to open the select target color. With this open, we can come in and we can just fine tune it. We can bring it round uh, that way. We can take a look at... Let's go for a blue cut. No, blue doesn't work with this. Yeah, like blue. Yeah. Again, you can just click around and see which one you like. I know. Let's go for a green. Yep, like the look of that. Click OK. You'll notice as well the way these uh, sort of uh, little grab handles there, those little sliders, that's what I was looking for, are moving around. And again, in this, we can just fine tune it. Let's bring it back that way. Let's bring the saturation up a touch or two, the lightness as well. There you are, that's the undercoat. There's a the top coat going on. Job just about done. 
One thing you do need to take care of if you're working on a subject which has got reflections in it, as this one has here, you have to make sure you get all of the selections. Just coming up, you can see a little part of the wing mirror there. You just see a bit of a reflection. That will be the door panel. So I'm just going to click, just get that over the target area, click in. There's a bit of green gone in. Again, now just using the fuzziness just to come through and fine tune that, taking it a little bit more to that area there, job done. Like the look of that, you can see the way it's come through that part there, it's selected everything with the green in, and again we can still come in, we can still make any changes to this that we want to. Once you're happy though, click OK, there it is, just adding it to layer 1 there. That's what we started off with, that's what we finished up with. You can change the colour completely, it works on a whole range of different subject matters, so the next time you want to boost a particular colour, or change it completely, give it a try. Until the next time, it's happy imaging and take care.